know the thumbnail on this video is not clickbait. A couple of weeks ago, my dad was approached by a woman he was doing some work for, and he was asked if he wants these two snowmobiles that have been sitting under the deck for about seven years without running. Over the next few weeks, I've been putting this video together of getting them started, running the entire process, and it is finally ready for you guys to check it out. So I hope you enjoy. Here it is. I don't know anything about snowmobiles. Never owned a snowmobile. These just kind of couldn't pass them up. So let's get these into the shop where it's actually warm and I can get uh, washing them down and, and fixing the first one. I'm gonna do one at a time. Man, tail lights aren't working at all. Oh, actually, that might have been why they don't work. But. I got it on rollers. Nah, look at this. Let me pop the hood for you. He's gonna be running three Honda Civics with spoon engines. And on top of that, he just went to Hector's and picked up two T66 turbos. Shoot, that does not look, it's gonna snap right off. Okay, we gotta rethink this. Seems legit. All right, first up, I'm gonna get this thing washed down because it is absolutely filthy in all seriousness. And then I'm gonna start by draining the fuel tank, getting the car going, and we'll see if she'll even run first off. And then we'll get worried about what's wrong with it beyond that. All right, got it washed down. It's not starting. If I was a betting man, I would say, okay, those spark plugs are really loose. Okay. Look at this. I didn't even crack that loose. I swear to God, that's just how that was. 100% that spark. That's what I figured. The fuel filter down in there is literally not even full. Like, it seems like it's not getting fuel. I just topped it off. All right, check this out. So I ended up just disconnecting the fuel line and like reconnecting everything and like kind of bleeding the system because I thought it had air in it or something. And watch this. A little bit of choke. Seems to run perfect. It's a little bit like smoky, obviously. It hasn't ran in seven years, I think they said. Check that out. Like Cheech and Chong came in, but wow. Runs, heated handlebars work, heated thumb thing works. It's kind of smoking, probably because there's water in there. Lights, I mean, this thing seems beautiful. This needs a seat cover, really. Shot my roller out the back when the clutch engaged. All right, before I go switch out the other one, this has spray paint all over it. I don't know who or how this worked, but I'm gonna use this goo gun and remove that hopefully and then I'll send out the door and get the other one in to get that running. <laughs> all right, no, just kidding. Uh, all right, so now I'm just taking these garbage bags and just putting it over top of like the, the goo gun and stuff. Just kind of smearing it out. This keeps it from drying out. While that one sits, I guess I'm gonna pull the other one in and just kind of see if I can get that going. Let's uh, see what the damage is on this one. Just a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty. Let's see if we can get it started. Right off the bat, this carburetor's tilted. All right, we got no fuel coming out of there. Strangely enough, this one had the same issue as the other one. So I undid it, got it below grade, so it started running, rehooked it back up, and now we have fuel. Got a cracked fuel line right here, puking fuel everywhere, so let me get that fixed. Still not starting. I'm gonna take the airbox cover off, see if that's it. Maybe there's like a mouse nest down in there. That looks pretty free and clear to me, so I would say that it's probably fuel. Uh, I'm gonna hook a new fuel line into it with a separate tank, see if it starts on that. Even after forcing it, it will not take fuel in, so I'm gonna pull that carb. I think there's something going on where it won't, the needle valve um, isn't letting fuel in, so it won't start. 
Yeah, it's dry as a desert in there. No fuel is getting through there. All right, super hard to see, but look, the needle valve there, it doesn't move at all when the floats go. It's corroded in, not letting any fuel in, and that is our issue. Let's see if she runs now. set off the fire alarm with this one, I can tell you that much. Don't mind the alarm that goes off probably once a week around here, but next we're gonna get back to that one and trying to get the spray paint off of it, and then this one needs the spray paint removed as well. I'm gonna check on this. Oh, it's coming off my finger. See what we're working with. Simple as a finger, and it's taking that right off. Rather than hand scrub all this off, I have a buffing wheel for like paint or chrome or whatever, and I'm gonna just use that. Okay, so after a long time and my hands cramping up, I finally got the vast majority of the paint removed, uh, but it looks a lot cleaner now. I'm not gonna bore you guys. It's the same exact process as the other one. Uh, so let me just show you. This is the before, and this is after, I don't know, I think it might have taken some of the shine off of this. It doesn't look as good as I expected, but it is done. Now we just need some snow and we're ready to rip. It finally snowed, baby. We got about eight inches yesterday, which a lot of it melted off because it started raining. But that means today is the day to finally rip the free project sled. For the greasy sleds, we had to break up, break out the Choco racing jacket. It's the only fitting. So we got Jason. He's loaded up with all the garbage in the back. And Dustin's behind camera. And we're gonna take him over to the field and, and let these things rip. Yeah, that one's a lot faster than this one, but the track kind of skips on it, I feel like. This one, it like tried to shut down. <laughs> that's, that's not normal, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> okay, we got two sleds out here, and we're gonna do tandem sledding behind the 440. <gasps> <laughs> okay, well, no one seemed to be able to stay onto the two sled, Jason. So we're gonna go back to just one and try that. Whatever, dude. You might be hurt, but I'm sweating in this jacket. <laughs> so I'm, I'm the real victim <laughs> here. Oh, slow down! I'm gonna fall off! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> My leg!
want to tandem jump it? Me on the back? Yeah. No. Why? Do you want to? No, he just got done explaining how horrible it is. It's not bad. Tandem jump. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs>